Blair, long time no see. It was nice seeing you at the wedding six months ago. How have you been? Oh, uh, hi, Ali. What do you want? Oh, um, I heard you had a baby last month. Huh? Congratulations! I'm so happy for you. <sighs> Who told you? Uh, what do you mean? Ken told me about it. What? Ken? <sighs> I told him to keep his mouth shut. He's such a mom's boy. Um, is everything okay? Look, um, like I told you at the wedding, I don't want anything to do with you guys. We're not family, okay? I didn't even want to invite you guys to the wedding, but I thought that that would be harsh, so... But now that it's over, I want nothing to do with you guys. You'll just harass me like all the other mother-in-laws. I'd never do that. Yeah, you would. I can tell from the way you look. What? My looks? Uh... Look, if you want nothing to do with us, fine. I won't force you to do anything. I just wanted to congratulate you on your baby. That's all. Oh, I get it. You want to see your grandchild. That's it, isn't it? Huh? Oh, uh, that would be nice, but... Fine. Pay us $20,000 and I'll let you see him. Twenty grand? It's not that much, right? You're rich. I can't pay you twenty grand. Oh, okay. Then you'll never see your grandkids. Too bad. You know what? Fine. Huh? Like I said before, I just wanted to congratulate you, that's all. But now, I'm regretting it. I had no idea you were like this. I shouldn't have messaged you. Bye. What? You sure? You don't want to see your grandkids? Your other son's wife, Helen, she's having trouble having a baby, right? And we're not planning to have a second child, so... My son is the only grandchild you got. You sure you want to play it like this? What are you saying? Helen gave birth to twins just three months ago. You didn't hear? What? She went through fertility treatments for years, and it finally worked. What? Nobody told me that! Really? Ken didn't tell you? Huh? No? He said he told you, but he said you didn't seem that interested. Maybe you just forgot. He even sent them a gift and everything, but I guess you didn't know that. What? You really didn't know about it? You never listen. <sighs> Can I go now? Huh? I just wanted to congratulate you, that's all. I got stuff to do, gotta go. What? Bye now. Hey, Helen. What's your problem, huh? Using your kids to suck up to your mother-in-law? You got some nerve, you know that. And how dare you give birth before me? My husband is older than your husband. Screw you. Let me guess. You're after their money. That's it, isn't it? And all that fertility treatment must have been expensive. So now you're trying to collect your money back from your mother-in-law. Well, too bad. That's not how things work around here. The oldest son gets everything. It's just how things are. And I'm his wife. That means I'm going to get their money, not you. So you can try to suck up to them all you want, but their money is mine. Your plan isn't going to work. Too bad. <laughs> Hello, Allie. Hey, Helen. How are you, dear? It's been three months already. Time flies, huh? How is your family? Hope all is well. Yeah, thanks. We're good. It's good to be back home. We're moving out soon, so we're gonna have to start packing. Ah, uh, right. Good to hear. So, what's up? Um, I wanted to ask you something. Go ahead. Last night, Blair texted me and... Blair? Yeah, I was in the shower at the time, so it took me a while to notice. I didn't respond yet. And, um, she said all these weird things to me, and 
I'm just really confused. Oh, what did she say? Um, I don't know how to say this, but... You can tell me, dear. And, uh, she texted me, too. We talked about you having your baby, so... Probably has something to do with that. Uh, right. That's probably it. Can you send me a screenshot? I'll read the messages and get back to you. Okay. What is she talking about? What money? My late husband was just a normal businessman. I live off of my pension. I work part-time at a grocery store, but it's not much. Why does she think I'm rich? No idea. Maybe she's got you confused with someone else. Should I talk to her? Maybe I can get to the bottom of this. If there's some kind of misunderstanding, maybe I can fix it. Um... I don't think that'll be necessary. Just ignore her. You sure? Yeah. I'll tell Ken, though, just in case. Lair, she doesn't like me very much. Not sure why, but... And you. You get along with me, so... She probably doesn't like you either. True. It's pointless trying to talk to her. It'll just cause more trouble, so... And she said she wanted nothing to do with her relatives, so... Let's just leave her alone. We got enough things to do as is. We don't have time to deal with her nonsense. Alright, if you say so. Okay then, bye. Hey, Allie. You guys moved out? My husband just told me. What the hell? Why didn't you tell me anything? Hi, Blair. Uh... I didn't tell you because I didn't want you to know. I told your husband to keep it a secret until we were out of the house. What? What the hell is going on? You told us to leave you alone, remember? Why do you care? I saw the messages you sent to Helen. I have no idea what you're talking about, but... It was scary. I don't know what you're after, but... We didn't want anything to do with you anymore. So we moved out to get away from you. What? But you'll never see my son! You okay with that? Oh, I'll be fine. I'd love to see him, sure. But you said no, so... And now I'm living with my two grandkids, so... I'll be okay. Wait, you moved in with them? Yeah, Rob, Helen, and the twins. We're like one big family now. Oh no, I feel so bad for Helen. I never want to live with my mother-in-law. Sucks for her. Oh well, that's not my problem. Why do you assume that I'm going to be mean to her? She's so sweet. Huh? She went back to live with her parents for a while when she was having the baby, but... Until then, we actually lived together, you know. Huh? And frankly, she's a much better person than you. Sorry to say this, but... So, yeah, we're on good terms, so you don't have to worry about her either. <sighs> You're being brainwashed, you know that. What? Listen, Helen. She's not the person you think she is. She's a bad person. How can you not see that? She's just after your money, and she's using her kids to suck up to you. Don't you see that? She went through expensive fertility treatment just for that. She thinks she can get all her money back by sucking up to you. Don't you realize that? All she cares about is money. Uh, what money? I don't have any money, Blair. What? I'm not rich. I don't know why you think that. Oh, stop trying to be modest. I know you're loaded. Whatever, look. If you want to move out, fine. Be my guest. I'm actually happy that you guys moved out. Oh, how so? None of your business. Bye! Hey, Allie! What the hell? Why are strangers living in your old house? What? What do you want now? Your old house! 
that big house you used to live in! What happened to it? There are strangers living in there now! Huh? What on earth are you talking about? How do you know all this? You guys moved out, so my husband and I decided to move into your old place! We moved all your stuff for this! What the hell is going on? Uh, first of all, I don't own that place. I paid rent every month. Huh? Helen's grandfather owns that place. I was only living there temporarily. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what else to tell you. What? I thought your husband loved your place! Uh, my husband moved around a lot, so we never bought a house. It wasn't even an option for us. This is my first time owning a house. Oh, and, just to be clear, the new house, it's under Rob's name, not Ken's. What? I gotta go now. My grandkids are waking up. Hey, wait! Excuse me. Blair and her family had nowhere to go now. She went crying back to her parents. She got in a lot of trouble after that. Turns out she didn't even tell her husband about moving out. She moved everything out while he was away on a business trip. Ken finally snapped and decided to divorce her. But she didn't want to be a single mom, so she gave up custody of her son. But that meant she was the only one that had to pay child support. So she got a job at a nearby grocery store. But everyone in town found out about what she did, or what she tried to do at least. Everyone avoided her. She was all alone now. Sucks to be her, but... Oh well, now my problem. Tell my daughter Gemma to come back home right now. Ever since she left the house to see your no good son, she has not come back home. First of all, you will not insult my son Cameron. Cam is at a sleepover at his best friend's house. If you need help contacting your daughter, I can help you. The last time I saw her was 5.30 p.m. She was sitting by your porch. I did not see her there. You are lying. I will check my cameras. If you did anything to my daughter, you will not get away with it. Do you forget that her uncle is a cop? You are free to check your footage. I do not have time for this. I am checking the camera right now. You said 5.30, right? Why are you lying? She left at 5.20 and she went in the direction of your house. If your son is with my daughter right now, I will make sure that you are fine by the council. I do not have the time for this. If you need anything, feel free to send that cop you say that you are related to. Do you think the police scare me? It is people like you who waste the resources of the town. By the way, I see your daughter across the road right now. She looks like she's on her bike. What are you doing outside? No need to report my daily activities to you. It is your son that is making my daughter change her attitude toward me. She is so much ruder this day and she leaves the house whenever she wants. And whose fault was it? You were the one who pushed my son to date your daughter even though I told you to stop. I didn't know such thing. Hey, mister. Oh no! What did I do now, Mom? I need you to stop seeing that girl. That girl is my girlfriend, Mom. You told me two weeks ago that her mom would not stop making her come over here and making the two of you hang out. I told you that you had a choice and did not have to date her as her mom wanted. That woman has given me bad fives since we moved here years ago. I mean, we have barely spoken as neighbors and then suddenly she starts bringing us food and inviting us to dinner. Mom, you know I only agreed for her to be my date at the school date thing. Plus, we are not properly dating. Her mom just thinks so. And mom, you were right, that woman is crazy. I have to tell you about the awkward conversations she forced us to have with her the other day. What did she want to talk about? After making me mow her lawn and clean out her garage, she said that since I am dating her daughter, I should make sure her yard is always clean. What? 
I just said, okay, she's weird. No, she did not have to do that. I do not know what her problem is. If you do not want to hang out with Gemma anymore, just let me know. No, Gemma is cool. I mean, I would not mind properly dating her. Okay, you can talk to your dad about that one. <laughs> Mom, I am 15, not 5. Silly child. Please be home at 6.30. We have to go visit your grandma today. Sure thing, Mom. Look what your son has done. I think that giving you my number was a bad idea. You cannot just contact me when you feel like it. My daughter has come home with a tattoo. Oh, what sort of tattoo did she get? What do you mean what sort of tattoo did she get? It was that son of yours that made her get a tattoo. I cannot believe that I thought that he was a well-mannered boy once. No, you chose to make my son date your daughter so that you did not have to take care of your daughter and you could spend your days gossiping and troubling people in the neighborhood. I told you that I did not think my son was ready to date, but you made my son turn against me and decide that he wants to date. So now deal with it. You feel comfortable making my son do jobs around your house that your husband should be the one doing and you want to blame my son for your choices? Your daughter is tired. I don't know what your son has been saying to her, but she talks back to me these days. Not only that, but she is always bothering me. Never have I dirtied my hands cooking in this house now. She suddenly wants a home-cooked meal. My son has nothing to do with it. Your daughter sounds like she just needs care. You have been neglecting her. She has been eating in my house most days because all you do is buy low-calorie food that is not even cooked. It is for her health. Stop feeding her. You will ruin her figure. She is a child. Starving her because you as an adult are going through a midlife crisis and think proper food is not good enough is just not the way to go. You're trying to coach me on what parenting is? Your son has no future. All he does is play games. So, is that why you force him to date your daughter? Make him dump her now. I am sorry, but I cannot do that. It is his choice. I am so going to get you and your son sued for making my daughter get a tattoo. She is underage, you know. If the neighborhood committee hears about this, they are going to make sure that you cannot live in this neighborhood peacefully. Frankly, I think that they are tired of your complaints. Also, it is a henna tattoo. I'm pretty sure your daughter told you where she was going today. You, you conniving woman, I will make her wash it off, and if it doesn't come off, I am blaming you. Mom, but you have no idea what Gemma's mom has done. What is it? I think that you have to come home and see it for yourself. Dad sent me a pic, and I thought that there was no way she would do that. What did she do? She parked on our spot. Where is your dad? I cannot reach him on his phone. I need to speak to him. Hey honey, what is wrong? Sorry, my phone's battery died and I have just gone home. I had to park in a differently abled spot because she parked in our spot. Why did you not park in her spot then? There is another car there. I checked the number plate but I don't know whose car it is. When I went to knock on her door, but she's not answering. Okay, just wait a few hours. Maybe she made a mistake. No need to make a big deal about it, okay? She probably needed the extra parking space, though she could have asked. Are you not going to talk to her about it? No, if I do, she will just cause drama that I'm not in the mood for. Let us give her some hours. Mom, Dad went to talk to her, but she told him to leave her alone and shut the door in his face. She also told him to make me dump Gemma. She does not get to tell my son what to do. 
Okay, tell your dad to get the toolbox. He knows what to do. This is not our first rodeo. Oh my god, mom, you are savage! Since she wants to park her car, she can have free parking for the rest of the week. Are you not worried that she will report to the council that you clapped her car in? Nah, we will only remove it when she comes to apologize. I have every right to because that is our parking spot. I once lived in an apartment complex when I was still pregnant with you. I know how to deal with petty neighbors. I have been growing that garden for ages. Why did you spray pesticides on it? I'm sorry. Look, there have been pests everywhere. The comedy said that we had to deal with them. The pest controllers are for the rats and cockroaches in the street over. Are you okay in the head? My veggies did not need your pesticides. I swear if my vegetables fail, it will be on your head. Is this still about your daughter? I don't know what you're going on about, since I don't even get to see my daughter these days. Not only that, but she's gaining so much weight thanks to your son buying her junk food. I cannot believe she refused to do a pageantry this year. You need to go to counseling and improve the communication between you and your daughter. The last thing I want is for you and your daughter to have a toxic relationship. My son is not the problem here. Have you considered that? Excuses, excuses. If your son gets my daughter involved in things like drinking and smoking, I will make sure that you get arrested. I should be getting you arrested for the stunt you pull with the car. Be thankful my husband felt sorry for you and removed the clamp. Get a life! Hi, I just got an email from you telling me I am banned from entering your property. Yes! Why? How do I know that you're not planning to steal? The same goes for that hooligan of a son of yours. And I keep on telling you that my son is a good boy. I don't care, your whole family is banned. And you cannot use the washing line. It is close to my side of the property. You would be trespassing. I will go and get a court order. I need to take my blanket that fell over on your side. Not my problem! Hey, have you seen your girlfriend? I want to give her something. She's not my girlfriend anymore, mom. Her mom took away her phone and grounded her, and forced her to dump me. How do you know that? After she took away the phone, she texted me and told me that her daughter would no longer hang out with me and any of her other friends. She has taken away her phone and removed her from all the extracurricular activities. What is wrong with her? She was the one who made you start dating Gemma in the first place. Mom, please do not start too. Her mom already does not like me. And do you like her? At first, I thought she was a snob. She acted so much like her mom that it was annoying. But she's not so bad and she's a nice person. I actually don't mind dating her. But I guess it is over now. I'm sorry, Pumpkin. Her mom is a control freak, Mom. I think she's hurting Gemma. Why do you think so? I saw scratch marks on her after she had a conversation with her mom. And where's her dad in all this? She said her dad avoids the house as long as her mom is home. This is so much worse than I thought. Maybe I should talk to the teachers at school and see if there's more to this. That would be cool, mom. I have tried to help her out, but she's not happy when she's at home. Who would be with a mother like her? But it will be tricky. She has been making life difficult for us for the past few weeks. Your father and I will speak about this and see what to do. Did you hear? 
It looks like a neighbor might be losing custody of her child. But how? I was still meaning to talk to you about the abuse that Cameron has been noticing. Her daughter ran away and reported her to the police. Now she's in the custody of her aunt. My word. What more could you find out? Apparently, the husband is not even willing to fight the case. Child Protective Services is still conducting his investigation. How bad do you think it is? Well, she has been very negligent of her daughter, and it seems to be affecting her daughter a lot. I knew when she was forcing her daughter to date my son that she was somehow trying to get rid of her. But what mother would want to do that to her own daughter? And when her daughter stayed out of her hair, she saw that she was happy so she tried to ruin it. So what do we do? Cooperate with CPS if they come knocking. We did not do anything wrong. It was just her time to be exposed. I hope that Gemma will not have to deal with that toxic woman anymore. She's such a sweetheart. It's funny, I used to think that she was just like her mom. Before she started dating our son, she was just awful. Poor child, if there was also a way not to get Teresa as our neighbor anymore. She is annoying and her action over the past few days have been stalkerish. Like, who parks her car in someone else's parking spot and try to kill a person's garden? Imagine if we had consumed those tomatoes and onions that were in there without knowing that she spread something in there. We would have fallen sick. She's so petty. I have a favor to ask. No. You did not even want to hear me out. I already know what you want to ask and the answer is no. You have asked nearly everyone in the street to give you a good character report and I refuse to do that. You have been horrible to me and my family. You have to understand, I was just being a protective mom. Their relationship was toxic. The only toxic thing there was yourself. You had one responsibility and that was to think about your daughter's happiness. I spoke to her, you know, and she says that you convinced her to date Cameron because girls her age already have boyfriends so her friends at school were going to laugh at her. I didn't say that! You have to help me out! We have been neighbors for 12 years! No, I will not lie for you. Will you not be happy then that you have gone rid of her? What kind of mom tells her daughter that having her ruined her life? You're lying. You're just jealous because I had a gazebo put in and you did not. My husband earns a lot of money and I don't even have to work. You wish you had my perfect life. No, I do not. Also, just a heads up, we are all feeling a petition for you to leave the neighborhood. I'm going nowhere. Gemma is now going to stay with her aunt. I know, I spoke to her and she's happy, but I will miss her. It is only 30 minutes. I can drive you. Thanks, mom. It just sucks that we have to deal with her mom. Did I not tell you? The petition is being considered. We just have to apply more pressure, but we will have to just take the small victories. Okay, mom. I will see you later. Teresa's husband ended up selling the house despite all Teresa did to stop it. Many of the neighbors did not feel that their kids would be safe around Teresa, so they wanted her out. Rumor has it that after they moved out, Teresa's husband decided to split up with her. Gemma and Cameron are still dating. She's happier in her aunt's house.